Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to solve and interpret expressions in scientific notation using a calculator. Let's take a look at some functions on our calculator. As we go, find these keys on your own calculator. Some of these functions may be slightly different depending what calculator you are using. Okay, let's go ahead and enter in the following expression. 4 times 10 to the third power. You'll notice I used the this little caret symbol, which means to raise to a power. Okay, press enter, and we see this is equal to 4,000. Another way of entering this number is to use this 10 to the x function. On my calculator, you will see it is in blue, which means it is a shift function. To enable it, I will have to go up here and press the second bus button first. So let's go ahead. 4 times, and then I press the second 10 to the x, which gives me 10 and the caret symbol. Then I press 3 for the third power. You'll see that with the press of one function, my calculator entered in the 10 and the caret symbol automatically. Okay, press enter, and we get 4,000 once again. The third and last function I want to show you is the double E function. This will appear as two E's on your calculator, or on some calculators, you will find EXP. So find the double E or EXP on your calculator now. This function will enter in the multiplication symbol as well. So to enter in our expression, all I have to press is four and since this, this is a shift function, I will press second, and you will see it is actually the comma button to use the double E function. And then we put in the exponent three. This little E takes care of times 10 raised to the, but we only had to press one key. Press enter and we get 4,000 once again. These keys can be time-saving once we get the hang of it. For instance, let's add these two expressions. Since it is most time-saving, I will use the double E function. 2 times 10 to the 4th power plus 6 times 10 to the 4th and enter. Our answer is 80,000, which we can easily write in scientific notation if we had to. Okay, it's your turn. Use your calculator to evaluate the expressions below. Okay, let's take a look at part A. 6 times 10 to the third minus 5 times 10 to the negative second. If you are unsure how to enter a negative symbol, just look for this little negative symbol in parentheses on your calculator, and that'll do the trick. Do not just use the minus sign, as this is a different function altogether. Okay, enter. The answer is 5,999 and 95 hundredths. Now for part B. 8 times 10 to the 9th divided by 2 times 10 to the 4th and enter. And the answer is 400,000. Good job. Okay, the last thing I'd like to show you is what happens when we work with very large numbers. For instance, let's type in 9 times 10 to the 25th the old-fashioned way and enter. You'll see that your calculator automatically adds in the E to the solution. It does this because the number has more digits than what will fit on your calculator screen. And by now, you know that this just means 9 times 10 to the 25th power. Go ahead and try some problems on your own. Use your calculator to evaluate the expressions below. And feel free to use the shortcut keys discussed when entering in each expression. Okay, we've got 3.8 times 10 to the 31st plus 7 times 10 to the 32nd, and enter. 
Our answer is 7 and 38 hundredths times 10 to the 32nd. Okay, now for part B, 9 times 10 to the 27th times 2.3 times 10 to the 5th, and enter. 2 and 7 hundredths times 10 to the 33rd. Good job! Thank you.